think I'll backtrack for a second just to say um, what I'm trying to tell to people at every speaking event I'm attending. And I'm saying that we ask for it. First of all, we literally asked for it. <laughs> we got what we asked for. And the best way for me to compare it, we used to drive horses in the past. We loved horses. It was great. We were doing so much with it. But we were considering, well, horses does not allow us to move so much cargo. Horses do not allow us to move as fast. It's cold to drive horse in winter, right? And horse needs food and so on and so forth. So we were asking for a better way of doing it. Cars came out. And so ultimately, nobody said horses are bad. Nobody said cars are bad. But cars allowed us to do more business faster, travel further, be warmer, and ultimately um, be more advanced in everything we develop. Exact same thing with AI. For years, people were complaining day in, day out. I don't want to do this boring operational tasks. I'm so slow. I'm doing the same thing over and over every day. I love my job except this operational tasks. So here we are, AI came in and it literally, what it does, it takes away a boring job that we hate it. Something that literally has a pattern that can be repetitive every single day that could be automated and leave us finally with what we always wanted to do, to share our opinion, to be creative, and to really develop something new and creative. Is it easier now? No, it's not, because AI also makes our life so much easy that a lot of people don't want to brainstorm. That's another question. But that being said, AI literally accelerates things that human brain just could not physically achieve uh, just because of the way, uh, at, the, at the speed we move.